begins today. Ho, ho. Hey, hey. The countdown begins today. Ho, ho. We will close Rikers. All of us together will ensure that it closes because it must close, and it will. Prison reform advocates renewing their calls to close Rikers Island on the exact day the jail is set to close four years from now in 2027. A week after the eighth inmate died at the notorious prison. This event marked the launch of a formal countdown clock, reminding the mayor and city council that time is ticking. Let the mayor know that he has an obligation to close this place down. Um, this is law. It's, it's, it, it was a plan that was well thought out um, and curated by years and years of organizing by directly impacted people. The legal mandate to close the troubled jail was issued back in 2019 under the de Blasio administration with four borough-based jails set to replace it. But now Mayor Adams is saying the city council should rethink that plan, citing concerns that the smaller jails can't hold the entire population of 6,000 inmates. Are we as a city willing to say that 2,000 extremely dangerous people, because we don't have enough space, we're going to turn them back into the, to the, onto the streets and back to the communities that they committed these crimes in in the first place? I'm not ready to say that. Advocates striking back Thursday, saying many of the inmates are awaiting trial for nonviolent crimes and that the city should invest more resources into low income communities. The root of crime is often poverty. And if we can eradicate poverty and get people stabilized in the way that we can, the way that rich communities are, the way rich communities, you don't see police officers around every corner. They have resources, um, and that's what needs to happen in our city. In a statement, City Council Speaker Adrian Adams and Councilmember Carlina Rivera say it is imperative that the mayor remains on track to closing Rikers and takes responsibility for implementing that law that requires a prison to close in four years. In Lower Manhattan, John A. Caldwell, PIX11 News.